Alex. Phil. Have a seat. <clears throat> Tie yourself up as securely as possible. <laughs> Where'd you get off all this stuff? I'm just doing what I'm told. Is it sexual? Slowest to be released by Alex wins. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. Right. Rope. Good. Is it sexual? No, it's just a task based on how you make me go to sleep every night. You say, tie yourself up. <laughs> go to sleep, and then you untie me in the Rack on with sleep. Yeah. Good. <laughs> the task currently in play is a special double one. First, they had to tie themselves up. Then a siren went off, which meant they had to untie themselves and put a boiler suit on. Then they had to tie themselves up again. Finally, here is Rod's interpretation of the task. Ha ha ha. OK. Alex, would you, uh, would you sit there, please? <laughs> Seven minutes to go, Rod. Yeah, but that's OK. It's quite tight. Quite tight. Yeah. It's fine as long as you can breathe. That should be fine. Have we done this before? Yeah. How's that? Quite tight. Yeah, that's tight. So it's and tight. <laughs> What's that noise? Uh, that's the siren. Is it just a local noise? No. What siren? Sorry, you had to do something when a siren sounded. Yes, two tasks on the go now, yeah. isn't there? This is the problem, isn't it? <laughs> right, just lie on the ground, wasn't it? OK, I've stopped the clock for that task now. You've completed that one. The boiler suit. That's done. OK. Now I'm going to untie you in 1 minute 55 seconds. OK. Got the hand in there. The shoe. Yeah. <laughs> 40 seconds. Four. Oh, I don't know how long is that. I'm going to count. There's 30, 35 yeah, so seconds. There's 31, Thank 30, you. 30, hang on a minute then. I'm blowing my whistle. OK, yeah, blow your whistle now. OK, I'm coming to untie you. Yeah, I'm tied up. <laughs> I'm going to go and get a hot drink. I'll... I'm coming. You're coming for me, are you? Yep. I'm going to untie you any second now. Do you want something for lunch? Yes, please. What would you like? Something sharp. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I'll get you. Have a go at me and shout and scream and no, uh, accuse genius. me of cheating. That was fucking kick ass. Rod, that is <laughs> absolutely <laughs> genius. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we'd love to hate that. Yeah. We'd love to hate that, but that was fucking was great. Yeah. <laughs> I think your teammates are right to praise you because it was uh, mightily impressive. But the thing that I noticed above and beyond the, how clever your response was is how cold you were. <laughs> Just a psychopath. <laughs> to put a bucket on his head, was there? That was yeah. right beyond no. the brief. Or, or a hat on the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> I never actually untied him. He untied himself in the end and then came and untied me. <laughs> <laughs>
I can't touch it, but other things can touch the running machine and the ball. Mm. Um, I'm just going to get some equipment. OK. Is that all right? Yes. A uh, prime example of the mum run. <laughs> <laughs> but we're yet to see Hugh Dennis's attempt. Can we see it now, please, Alex? Absolutely we can. OK, but I can... Hang on. Good luck, Hugh. Thank you very much. Five, four, three, two, one. You can get me a chair. A chair? Yeah, I'd love a chair. I'll give you a chair. Thanks, thanks. A chair, Hugh. You just put it behind me, that'd be lovely. Thank you. It's quite boring, isn't it? I don't even know if you might be able to get me a book or something. Okay, I'll give you a book. Just place it on there. And sit on there, that'd be great. Could you uh, pass me the plug? The plug? Yeah. Plug into that, Hugh. Clock's still running. You've not touched the machine? No, I'm not touching anything. How long did Hugh keep the basketball on the treadmill? It stayed on there four months until... Sto <laughs> <laughs> until Storm Doris came and <laughs> knocked it aside. Wow. <laughs> Big up for the rave up. Ooh. Oh, luminosity. Well, I don't... I'm really worried about this already. What have we got here, then? I'm bad at these when I can see. Hello, Mark. Oh, hi, Alex. It's, um, dark, isn't it? Paint the best rainbow scene. You may not open the lab door until the task is complete. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. We're on this. Yes, please. Oh... I can't see the colours. <laughs> Very nice to have the, the task really spelled out. <laughs> <laughs> Will Mark, the man who most closely resembles the character in his boiler suit, be any good at painting rainbows in the dark? Absolute horseshit. <laughs> yeah, so when I draw on there, I'm not going to be able to see anything at all. That's Why? the fun of the task. Why not? Uh, it's too dark. Ah. Red, I'm just thinking red because that's where we start our rainbow. The tricky thing is not losing my um, bearings, isn't it? I don't think there's a way that I'm missing of supplying myself with light. I mean, there is a... I look for the light switch there. I don't think it probably is, but it would be silly of me not to at least try. I didn't say I can't turn the light on. <laughs> hmm, that does help. Uh, is that against the rules? Well, it's a lot easier like this. It's much easier, actually, yes. This is why normally we have lights. Uh, I've made it easier for myself, certainly, but everyone will do that. But everyone will put the light on, so it's... It's all about the quality of the rainbow. An absolutely legitimate move, right? The light switch was there for all five. It was <gasps> lit by the square. If you oh, watch right. back, it is always there. And they just said you can't leave the room. <sighs> <laughs> Question is, was your picture any good? I think there's one element of the rainbow which you'd be surprised that he got wrong. <laughs> Flat, it's quite a flat rainbow. Jesus Christ, rainbows have only got one physical characteristic. <laughs> I mean, maybe we should focus on the two witnesses. Do they seem unimpressed? No, they're saying wow.
you been there for? Nice suit. Wow, you look nice. I like the blue. The suit you look that really good on it. So shall I um, extract this? Keep Alex dry. Driest Alex wins. You may not touch Alex at any point. Wouldn't want to. You may not be within the compass when the shower is on. The shower will be turned on for two minutes in two minutes from now. So I say we go to the shed and find something that... Uh, a platform or a, like a... Yeah, an okay, umbrella. Or tarpaulin or... Yeah, yeah. Okay. We may not be in there when the shower's on, yes. but it's not on now, so let's no. put a bin bag over here. It's starting in two minutes, the shower. Uh, bin bags or tarpen tarpeters? Uh, um, what's a tarpeter? <laughs> no, no. Tarpenter. Tarpeter. Words get lodged in my head beyond a certain age. They all run off to look for a tarpeter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's I your power, one. Lisa Tarper. That's Is your it? power. Well, do you want to know why we've teamed them up in their teams? Because we've got the teams of Alice and Russell and, of course, Asim, Lisa and Tim. Yeah, I'd, like, we, I'd like to know. We, what... we group them like that um, because of their work schedules. Ah. <laughs> up next to Russell and Alice. They're cool kids, and this is what they did. <laughs> How heavy is this? Could we hold this over? It's too heavy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Too... Yeah, yeah, oh, it's yeah. not that heavy for two what? minutes. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, well, let's take that back first and see if... Is there anything see else? If that, that goes is... over. Should we quickly try this and see if that works? Well, wait, actually, why don't we just hold... Rather than cover him, cover the shower? So... Don't touch Alex at any point, though. Feels like he's going to work. Or we could just turn the hose off. Whoa. If we disconnect it, make it go over here. Oh. <laughs> we'll put it down there. Let's get a, let's get a hair dryer and really dry him up as well. Is there any dry white wine? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. And this is a this is a dry martini. Dry martini. Yeah. We're going to hair dry you as well. Is on. Yeah, well, it looks like you're pretty dry, eh? <laughs> I mean, sometimes on the show, you just have to just put your hand up and go, they just absolutely yeah. knocked it out of the park. So, the shower, yeah. the bit above him, was oh. that... On. Well, we took, you know, they turned it on, but it didn't work. Yeah, the shower so, was on, but it was disconnected on. because Team Funk went and busted. <laughs> Can I just clarify, we haven't settled on Team Funk. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> By the end, I was very dry. I was drier than I was before. I was like a raisin. Relevant? Has he got a name? Stuart. Stuart. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm ready for this. <laughs> Get this camel through the smallest gap. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. So basically you want me to birth Stuart. <laughs> Get this camel. Get this camel. Get this camel through the small. Get this camel through the small. I know what all the words mean, but together <laughs> I find them confusing. <laughs> Mercifully, no one did decide to, uh, I understand, attempt to birth the camel. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, the final attempt Mel Gedroich and a camel. Right. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Come on. Come on, gang. Let's do it. Red light. Two minutes, 20. Right, I can see the high road. This is good. The shops are there. Brilliant. I've seen it. It's over there. It yeah, is tiny. One minute. One minute. OK, it's absolutely tiny. Yes! Yes! Here we go? Yes, let's go back. Oh, yeah. 
Well, I've got to ask the question, is there a smaller gap than Baby Gap? Nope. <laughs> Baby Gap's the smallest in the brand. And therefore, she took the camel through the smallest gap possible. Yes, and the security cameras will have <laughs> recorded Mel Gedroich running in with the camel and running out again with the camel. <laughs> Well, I've got to say, I thought it was awesome. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make Mel the winner. Okay. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs>